ERP Next Developers Demo. In this episode, let us look at how we can split a module from ERP Next and then make it into a separate app. For this demo, let us use CRM module as an example. Currently, CRM module is part of ERP Next. So in this episode, we will try to move CRM out of ERP Next and then make it into a new app. So let's get started. Currently, I am on ERP Next GitHub page. I'm heading over to Wiki. On the Wiki, we have published a small guide on how to split a module and then make it into a new app. So let's go back to terminal. Uh, currently, I am on a bench called uh, Bench Edge, and we have uh, three apps here. So I'll just uh, make a new app. So we can just run Bench New App CRM, and it will just create a default uh, template for us. So CRM CRM Publisher is Frappe Contact at so I'll just go with the default values for now. So yeah, it has created a new app. So if we look at the uh, apps directory, there is a new directory called CRM. I'll just run tree command on that. So here you can see all the files bench has created for the new app. Currently it doesn't do anything much it is just a uh, placeholder app so if we look at a git log for this app so there, there is just a single commit initialize app now we need to move entire crm code to this new app so for that what we can do is we can just uh, head over to erp next repo and here inside ERP next we have CRM directory so we can just copy this directory and paste it there and we can just use that but uh, we will lose all the git history since it is an open source project and a lot of contributors have contributed to ERP next we need to preserve git history so there is a third party tool called filter repo uh, which can be used to extract commits specific to CRM. If we look at ERP next repo, uh, it has almost 40,000 commits. And if we see the disk size, um, for some reason it is showing incorrect size here. The repo size is almost uh, um, 1.2 GB. So, we don't need that entire history. We just need history pertaining to CRM module. So I'll just show, quickly show the tool. So this is the tool filter repo. For this, uh, we can just uh, uh, give a path or a, any pattern and it will go over all the commits and it will selectively pick only the commits and the files pertaining to the filters we have passed. So since we need only CRM uh, uh, history, we'll just run git filter repo and then uh, path I have given as ERP next slash uh, CRM since uh, this is where uh, CRM code is and a two subdirectory filter I have given CRM. So inside this we will get the entire uh, files pertaining to CRM. And uh, this tool is uh, quite fast. There is also one more tool called uh, uh, filter branch. I think it comes by default with git and it is very slow. So better not to use that. And if we look at history now, so it just has thousand commits. So it has uh, pruned all unwanted commits. So if we look at the history, all of them are uh, uh, related to CRM. So now we have extracted um, entire code uh, pertaining to CRM module here and we have a new app here so let me go to CRM and then delete the git history from here 
and I'll just copy a git history from this ERP next repo. Yep. So we have copied the entire git history from there and uh, we even have the uh, app structure right now. So now what we have to do is we have to restructure the files so that uh, doc types reports and other templates will sit in the correct place so if we look at uh, git status uh, currently it is showing as all files were deleted because it is looking at a, uh, the previous path uh, where we have extracted and uh, those files are not here that's why it is uh, treating them as deleted now we can move the paths to corresponding folders then it will treat them as just uh, renamed for example if we look at uh, crm let's go to crm inside a crm we need to create a folder called doc type and we have to move all the doc types here so let's move them So we have moved all the doc types here and if we run git status uh, we need to add that as well okay yeah Yeah, yeah and we need to um, add this as well Bit add dot. so here you can see uh, it is just treating uh, whatever files we have moved as just renamed similarly we need to restructure all the uh, files that are required for CRM so this covers uh, the major part of uh, uh, splitting the app and uh, so far we have done bench uh, splitting and we have removed the modules yeah so the next step is uh, in some modules um, there might be some interconnection between uh, uh, each and uh, uh, other modules for example if we take healthcare uh, there was uh, 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 some coupling between sales invoice and then healthcare services so if there is any module specific code that is still present in ERP next we just need to move that out of ERP next and if uh, let's say if there is some other module code uh, that is present in CRM we just need to move that out of CRM as well we need to do that particular cleanup after that uh, we have a file called hooks.py uh, where it has a lot of hooks like pre-install, post-install and uh, uh, doc type events, scheduler events, etc, etc. And if we need to set up any other hooks for the app, we can do that. So once that is done, uh, we can just create a dummy site and then we can install CRM, we can load some test data and we have to do a dry run once to make sure uh, at least the basic functionality is working fine and we have to do the same thing on erp next as well uh, because uh, we since we have moved crm module uh, if there are any uh, breaking pieces or uh, if there are any bugs uh, that have arisen due to this uh, splitting we need to take care of that as well and once that is done we just need to add a, a warning in frappe and erp next uh, so that when users upgrade to next version they get a warning saying that uh, a module has been moved away from erp next and uh, if they are using they can just go ahead and install this new app and uh, some of the modules need uh, specific records or custom fields that needs to be created so 
when we are separating we need to make sure that all these uh, uh, custom fields or uh, new records uh, are created during install step we also need to add a new patch so that um, it will delete any stale data that is present in ERP next and once that is done uh, we can create a, a one more dummy site uh, and we need to test the migration uh, so we have to take an old version uh, add some dummy data and then upgrade to new version install the app and make sure everything is working fine so that is a brief description on uh, how to uh, split a module from ERP next so if you have any questions you can leave a comment below and uh, stay tuned